Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lee Fuge, and in this video today, I'm going to be talking about this really cool guitar that I'm holding in my hands. This is the Stanford Guitars Crossroad Thinline 30. Stanford Guitars very, very kindly sent this to me to use in some videos. I love this guitar and I first had one of these guitars on the channel back in August at the 42 Gear Street event. This was used, I believe, in the video I did with Guillaume from Blue Cat Audio. It's not the exact same guitar, but Stanford sent me the same model. I loved it at the time and I still love it now. It's a really cool guitar and I'd been wanting to get my hands on a 330 style guitar for a while. I really like the tone of a fully hollow style electric, especially with the twin P90s. So as you can see, the Crossroad Thinline 30 is obviously inspired by the ES line of guitars. This is similar to an ES330 because it's completely hollow, which means it's super lightweight. So this guitar is made entirely from maple. So let's look at the close-up cam. We've got a veneered maple top, which is finished in this lovely nitro. You don't really see many guitars finished in nitro in this price point. And we've also got veneered maple back and sides, also finished in nitro. A hard maple neck, which is great, and a nice set of vintage tuners at the top. The body has got a pair of P90s, as you can see there. The typical sort of tunomatic style bridge and this vintage trapeze style tailpiece. We've got obviously the usual ES style layout where we've got two volumes and two tone controls and a three-way switch to control the pickups. So these guitars retail for just under a thousand pound and they come with a hard case, which is great. The value for money you get with one of these is incredible. It outperforms many other guitars in that price bracket. It sort of feels like a real high-end guitar, but obviously you're not paying high-end money, but you do get a lot of guitar for the money. It feels great. It's got this nice, not too thick, but a nice substantial C-shaped neck. And we've got these cool medium jumbo frets as well. So it's very, very playable straight out of the box. It actually comes stock with a set of 10s on, which I like. I'm not too fussed on guitars that come with 9s out of the box just because they're a bit too light. This finish is known as Antique Vintage Sunburst, and it's a lovely, lovely finish. It's done really well. There's no kind of blemishes or anything in the finish. It's the first time I've really gotten to spend a bit of time looking at one close up, and yeah, it's put together incredibly well. We've even got an ebony fretboard as well. This isn't the darkest ebony I've ever seen. It's sort of more like a dark rosewood, but it's, you know, it is ebony, it is real ebony. And for the price, you get a lot of high-end features. You typically see ebony on these kind of guitars sitting in the sort of the two and a half thousand pound price range and up. Obviously you're getting all those specs here for less than a thousand pound with a hard case, which is great. They're super, super playable as well. When I first picked one of these up back in August, I just loved it straight away. Sometimes when you play certain guitars, you just have a sort of an instant connection with them. And this was definitely one of those guitars. I haven't really stopped thinking about it since I first played it. So it's really cool that I finally got one in my studio. And like I said, I've been after a fully hollow ES style guitar for a long time now, because it really does have that kind of BB King sort of vibe. And the cool thing is, you don't even have to plug it in. Because it's fully hollow, I could just sit here with this with the volume turned off. And it works 
kind of like an acoustic guitar. So that was obviously just the guitar you hear in the room. But now we're going to plug this in and hear it in action. So I'm going for the Blackstar Studio 10 6L6 that you see behind me there, which is mic'd up the Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser mic. And I've also got the Analog Man King of Tone on the desk in front of me, just for a little bit of drive because I've got the amp running completely clean. So we'll start off by looking at the clean tones of the P90s and then we'll add some gain. So first of all, the bridge pickup. So with this being a P90 guitar, you get a lot of top end sparkle there. It's a very, very clear tone. Now let's go to the middle position now, which is both P90s at the same time. The middle position is great for those strummed cleans, really nice, warm, articulate sound for picked stuff. Now let's look at the neck P90. P90s there in all three positions sound fantastic. There's a lot of chime, a lot of sparkle to the notes as expected with P90s because they are technically a form of single coil. They are susceptible to hum as with all P90s. That's just sort of part of the design. If you're gonna play a loud amp, especially when you bring gain into the mix, you are gonna get a bit of noise from P90s, but it's just one of the things you learn to deal with. There's a certain charm that a P90 pickup has that a single coil or a humbucker doesn't quite have. It's this kind of in-between sound. You get the fatness of a humbucker, but with all the clarity and chime of a single coil. So now let's go to like a low gain overdrive. So I'm gonna kick on King of Tone. Got this just set to a just over breakup sort of sound. So let's look at the bridge pickup. <laughs> You'll get tons of bite there, tons of clarity. Now let's go to the middle position. P90s on, you do kind of get that humbuckery sound, you get that extra sort of bottom end from the neck P90, but still that little bit of bite from the bridge P90. Let's look at the neck pickup now.
cool classic tones in this when you bring the gain in. I do think that fully hollow ES style guitars have a certain charm when you bring gain into things. They don't react the same way that like a solid body guitar would, purely because they are hollow. So there's a different sort of air movement inside the guitar. It has a slightly hollower sound, I think. The mid-range isn't as bitey, but that's really nice because you get into those kind of classic 60s rock tones. Everyone from classic guitar heroes like John Lennon right up to more modern day players like Gary Clark Jr. have really leaned on that hollow body sound because it's very interesting. It's different to the norm and it's just such a dynamic and unique sound. It's a lot of fun to play with. When you get into higher volumes, obviously the combination of single coil pickups, noise, and a fully hollow guitar can lead to some feedback, but again, it's part of what you learn to control. If you want to play a guitar like this, you've got to learn how to tame it slightly. It's really responsive to dynamics as well. So if I go back to the bridge pickup, and I am not on full gain here, I'm on like a light crunch, but if I roll the volume back slightly, it cleans up really well. <laughs> huge dynamic range in the sound there. So now I'm gonna go over to the higher gain side of the King of Tone and we'll go for the pickup selection again with a bit more gain. So first up, bridge pickup. <laughs> You've got a lot more bite going on there. Obviously, there's only so far you can really take the gain on a fully hollow guitar. We're not going to get into thrash metal territory here, but we are going to get some pretty cool classic rock or blues rock sounds. So let's look at the middle position now, which is both P90s at the same time. <laughs> sounds in the Crossroad Thinline 30. This is such a cool guitar and it's really really inspiring to play. It's one of those instruments that you know as soon as you pick it up there's just riffs and licks and everything just waiting to come out and I'm loving the amount of tones I can get from this thing and obviously all of that is said and done without even talking about the tone controls on the guitar which again are really versatile. So I'll just go back to a lower gain sound now and just give you a quick demo of those. So on the bridge pickup
And the neck pickup. range on the tone control as well you can really dial these into whatever you want you can go from sort of a sparkling clean to that eric clapton woman tone sort of vibe as well there's a ton of really inspiring tones in this guitar if you like bluesy tones blues rock tones classic rock tones anything with a bit of a sort of retro edge this is a cool guitar to check out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and big thank you to Stanford for sending me this guitar to check out. I love this thing and I'm looking forward to featuring this in plenty more videos. It's such a cool guitar and I've got so much inspiration from playing this thing, so I love it. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of this guitar. I'd love to hear what your opinions are on the Stanford Crossroads Thinline 30. How do you guys feel about fully hollow ES style guitars? Personally, I love them, but they're not for everyone, but I'd really like to hear where you guys stand on that debate as well. And if you did enjoy this video, like I said, don't forget to let me know in the comments, but also hit that subscribe button and hit that like button because you guys doing that allows me to keep making videos with great brands like Stanford and also it helps to grow this channel as well. So thank you guys. I will see you very soon.